Hey, this is Dave Ekstrom, owner of Forever Young Records. Uh, this is our YouTube channel, episode one. Figured I'd start in the beginning. Uh, my record store uh, started actually out of Traders Village on the 12th row, where I used to sell records every weekend, Friday and Saturday, excuse me, Saturday and Sunday, um, <clears throat> for about three and a half years straight. Uh, at one point, I discovered a shopping center it was brand new constructed in Irving at MacArthur in 183. And I uh, made the phone call, talked to the real estate agents whose name and number was on the sign. And before you know it, I signed a, a five year lease uh, to open Forever Young Records for Real. That was October 1, 1984. And um, that was my first location. It grew out of a flea market operation and one of the first things I discovered was I didn't have anything new and people were coming to a record store wanting to buy the new Madonna or the new Michael Jackson album that just came out. And I had to send them on their way. I didn't have anything new. All it was that I had was for my flea market, which was used product. So upon realizing the mistake, I took the last $6,000 I had in the bank and I went and I bought two boxes of cassettes and LPs that was off the Billboard Top 40. And before you knew it, I had all the stuff everybody wanted overnight. Um, of course, selling new product, you don't make a lot of money. Selling used, you make more. But that was very fundamental and important that I start to sell new product. By the way, this was pre-CD. There were no CDs yet. And that's the end of uh, the beginning. All right.